Before we get started in today's episode, we want to let you know that we are sponsored by some people, but specifically BetterHelp. BetterHelp, cuz. So the other people that we're sponsored by is HelloFresh, Care Of, and Rocket Money. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh, pre-portioned products, produce, ingredients, and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal f- meal kit. Excuse me. Good food is too precious to waste. Hello Fresh pre-portioned ingredients cut down on your food waste by at least 23% compared to grocery shopping, which is good for your wallet and the planet. Looking for more ways to save this spring? Hello Fresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% cheaper than takeout. The Tanks Lease. Excuse me. I am tongue twice. Tongue twice. <laughs> I've done it about 40 times in this one ad. I know why. What? We What's love Hello Fresh. We love Hello Fresh. <laughs> We eat it Monday through Friday for dinner. They have great meals. My kids get to help me, and I love that I'm feeding them real food. Like, I can tell this came from the earth, and I'm fixing it for my babies. scrumptious. And it's so delicious. So go to HelloFresh.com slash TBTB50. TBTB50. Use code TBTB50 for 50% off plus your first box ships free. Go to HelloFresh.com slash TBTB50 and use code TBTB50 plus your first box ships free. It's HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Bald and the Beautiful podcast. I am Melissa. My name is Kevin. I'm Angel. Thanks, Lee. All in the building. And all up in you. Yes. And we are uh, a podcast review. I heard this recently on some other episode. And I said, correct. I'm taking that. Thank you so much. We're a podcast. And sometimes we review reality TV because as married couples, we'd be having opinions on relationships. Amen. So that's Ooh. what we're doing with um, what's up? What's up? the bald and the beautiful, the love in the pot. <laughs> love, love in the pot. Love is 2020 vision. Yes. Um, I'm thinking of another show, actually. But I did see that the perfect match is coming back on Netflix, which is total and complete chaos. What's the perfect match? Uh, oh, is that the one where you The Netflix it? universe, and you get to decide. Loki is good, as bad, as whatever. However, um, couples therapy is back on Showtime. Showtime. Oh! And I love couples therapy. Um, it'd be, it'd, oh, you talking about reviewing that? Yes. Oh, I think it'd be better. Me and Greg tried, but you know, our personalities in that show. Trans oh, woman. Was, uh, oh. Trans woman. No, it was just, the episodes was too dry. We was like, we let's just steer away from this. Let me go back then, actually, Cars. and look at the other seasons. I, I do work. enjoy it, but I could actually see it being a little heavy. Kev, you never watched the episode. I think it'll like, work with, uh, with the let fact that it. there's women watch. perspective yeah, in this lying. show. With I Greg and Marcus, they were just trying their best not to get canceled. They the were like, about, now transmission, I know I could talk a lot about. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right. yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know the. Di- I didn't know which was which. Yeah. Give me a minute. If you switch into a man, I didn't know. I was yeah. like, um, I was gonna say something else. The other thing is, so and I have been watching. Um, Love after lockup. Oh my god. Love after lockup is a oh, great it's time. fantastic. <laughs> Look, These and she people said, "Are great." This is just when when great when, a television. When old girl was chased in that car, but that man side chick. And she thought she was going to lose her life. It's the best thing about television. Simply the best. <laughs> the best. She's like, this is. It was freaking fan. And you knew he did wrong. Oh, my God. It was so good. So, anyway, I'll figure that out after we get back from Dubai. My mind can't take no more. Okay? Uh, but Listen, it'll be one of the I was, I, was, I was doing some promo work. Speaking about this Dubai. I was doing promo for the thing I'm going to do. I don't know when to say what it said. And Brittany was like, man, can I talk to you about that? I said, hey, hey, hey. I don't have no I, whole my energy. My mind's close to new ideas. Mm-hmm. I just created this idea. Let me get this out. And then we could talk about the next. Thing. He's like, but while you're in this costume. Mm-mm. I don't. I cannot. I can't do. Getting ready to start. Go on vacation. Y'all know. Let me tell y'all. the worst times. Let me tell y'all because they know. Especially y'all. Y'all don't be taking no weeks off. In my old job, me and Melissa was just talking about this. My old jobs for vacation where I hated that job, I am going on vacation. Whatever problem I got to deal with, it'll be there when I get back. I'm coming to a whole bunch of emails. At least of my concerns. This job, you got to do so much. If you want to take a week off vacation and really be a week off, you got to prepare for three weeks in advance. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Especially when you have bonus episodes, this podcast, Melissa got a podcast, we do this podcast together, and regular life. Yeah. You yeah. know, my parents coming. Oh, my God, boy. Let me tell you what. We bought some tickets to my, for my dad to come. I bought them so they're going to watch our children. My dad just texted me. 
you got to have a TSA. Your mother's got the eyesight thing. You got to mm-hmm. request a wheelchair. I said, this is five things. Yes. They going to be in town. They yeah, are. they come tomorrow. Oh, oh no, what a uh, joy. So the point is, we got to shoot a lot in order to just take a week off. Yeah. If it ain't Christmas. Yes. So um, I forgot how we got here. Uh, before we go straight into it, we do need to say congratulations to you. Your oh, billboard. Hey. Angel is our billboard. Hey. Very exciting. It is. And they it painted is. you all up on the side of the place. They, the ask them if you can roll it up and put it in the garage. Listen, I would. I'd put it right on the face of our house. <laughs> I was just saying to uh, uh, the Patreon, I was like, being on a billboard was never a career goal. Mm-hmm. So it's just a nice little perk that yeah. I was like, Woo, you're doing billboards? Yeah. And I think we're going to be in Times Square. Oh, that's awesome. Are if you gonna I was out? on Times Square, no. I would fly there and go. I, you absolutely should. <laughs> I promise. If somebody ever said, no, no, you absolutely should. I would fly Times Square is the billboard of all billboards. I know. That I is know. a career goal of mine. It's that is one of One thousand percent. I almost paid for it myself when I found out you could, but then they didn't answer. <laughs> I literally looked into it. Remember? Yes. For the book, I, I was dead serious. I would have paid for it my own self. I don't care how I get up there. I'm going to be up there. I got to look to see because it's in New York. It's on 42nd Street, which uh, Times Square comes through there. And yep. I just got to see what the, they said the cross street. I've got to see Manhattan, if that's a part. 42nd in Manhattan. There you go. There you go. So uh, I absolutely would fine. She's like, get 1, on the plane. No, 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 I go take would. a picture and take my butt right back home. <laughs> yeah, for sure. 24 hours. 1,000%. And that's your real 24 right. hours in New York. <laughs> Took some picture. I got dressed. I got styled, and I'm just eh. yeah. Yeah. Thanks so much. I'm on the airplane again. <laughs> keep that plane right there. I'll be right. Correct. There. Right. Can Listen. you keep it running? I'm gonna just run. Just, come back. Right. Real quick. Actually, just land yeah. in Times Square Correct. and right. then take right back. They got the blade. You can take don't, the copter don't, don't down. Don't clean that trash. I, I'm gonna <laughs> yeah, exactly. add to that when don't, I get back. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about nothing else. I'm kept, you know, stuff hop yeah, on, hop on. Stuff I mean, let me. Can I leave my iPad on here? Yeah. She was Deborah, you mind if I'm going to be right back. <laughs> I'm going to be right back. <laughs> On the back. next flight. Yeah, that's freaking fantastic. I'm okay, so we're going to start with Love is Blind, the reunion. If you have not watched this, which is a actually, I understand. <laughs> I actually understand if you haven't, but just know there will be spoilers. We are not holding our tongue back. So either click in, click out. I really don't care what you decide to do, but know that there will be spoilers. I have a, I have a question. Yes, sir. To say that there's going to be spoilers, if somebody comes on knowing that you're going to be most likely reviewing a show, wouldn't would they not? Well, I don't get the people getting mad about people do that all the all, time. People know. are lunatics. Yes, people. I watch like Emergency Awesome and stuff, and New Rock Stars about like Game of Thrones and stuff, and he has to clarify there's going to be spoilers. Like, don't watch if you ain't I, seen it. Tony does movie reviews with no spoilers. That's crazy. And I then sometimes he does spoiler with them. Well, movies might be because they're a little bit more timely. However, I watched um, uh, the incest show that's uh, about the doctors. Incest? It's not really incest because they're not related, but they all work together. No, Shondaland. Married to Medicine? Uh, Grey's Anatomy. Thank you. Grey's Anatomy. I was, uh, thank you. Yes, Grey's Anatomy. (laughs) Incest. All all reality shows. Incest in that um, they all work together. And then, like, you're my partner, but then you're my partner, and then y'all partner up. It was a lot uh, of uh-huh. just mm-hmm. a lot of love triangles. Yeah, uh-huh. I mean, the cast is only it. so big. That's true, but I was like, enough. <laughs> they be doing more sex than surgery. They show enough and dating <laughs> issues. It'd be a lot. I was like, I might have to click out of this. But um, I watched that show over the pandemic all these years. It started from the beginning and was like, Facebooking my updates and somebody was like, "Well, what if someone else wants to watch it?" Girl's eight years old. It is old. It's, it's in ye- it's in year seventeen or eighteen. No, yeah. legit. Grey's Anatomy, legit. Yeah. That my boss at Bank of America, my first real job. That's all they talked about. Was say, I started. Wa- I watched the first season. I think before me and you even, like got married. It was, yes, it's and so Melissa was talking ago. about that season. Yes, I was like, like the, uh, <laughs> the black dude was still on. Isaiah Washington was on, and Catherine Heigl. Yes, like they've been off that show. Was Jesse like, Williams wasn't even on. Don't yet. you think you might want to? Don't you think you might want to get off my post? Hey, because yeah. girl, B. It's we're way be? beyond the point of spoilers. OK, leave me alone. Let me be. Um, OK, so we're going to start. Love is blind. Let's start with the top. And the top is what are your opinions on Nick and Vanessa? People been dragging them folk. Boy, I was visibly who? Oh, viscerally the host. Yes. frustrated. I said, who the them. hell? What couple is this? <laughs> they. I Listen. Single me out, Victory. Do you know how to do that? Press the single button. Single 98 button. degrees should have been the last thing you did. Oh, my oh God. No. <laughs> the little tattoo. 
<laughs> I don't mind you when you come in and say, hey, y'all. Yes, two Kevin. people going on a date. <laughs> go ahead and do it. When they sat them all together, you go back to the wife. <laughs> on that thing, and y'all had to handle it, I was like, get off of my television. <laughs> they get underneath my skin and scriggle scraggle all around there. I never noticed the reunion. This is how I knew I was irritated. When the host is good, I don't think about them. Kevin Frazier be on there? Don't think about it. Nina Parker be on there? Don't think about it. Nick Lachey and uh, Vanessa. Vanessa. Mm -hmm. I want them. To, I want. I want that cooking show we watch where the rules. Nobody had a host. Yeah. The rules came printed yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want y'all to print out a thing and, and y'all ask yourselves the questions <laughs> because they were on my nerves. It, did you feel that way about them last season? Well, when they did it with Shake and the last time we, I didn't watch that. Season. I didn't watch that reunion. We didn't watch that season. I, I didn't watch. Well, we did. I should say. Did we not review them? Not that I didn't watch. I wasn't as invested. Were we? With, we did. with Saki? With Shake, not That's Saki. His name. His yeah. name <laughs> I don't no, remember we reunion, watch, we though. We didn't finish watching it. I don't think I watched it with y'all. With the, the girl with the short hair, black yeah. girl with the short hair, and the tall black dude. And that dude, the Indian dude. The Shake is the Indian dude. Shake, yeah. I remember. He's actually yeah, the we only didn't watch that. Was that I Shane? I didn't watch it. Was Shane on that season? I, I, don't think, I don't think we for fi finished reviewing that. Did I don't we remember start us reviewing it? it? Yeah, we reviewed that love in the pods. I wouldn't have watched it. But we didn't. I know I didn't watch no reunion. What season were they? Two, oh, that three, was that girl. Three. I didn't watch a season like that. Because the girl with the saying, oranges. No, she's not in that. He's not in two? that. Two. It was either two or there three. It was two. Yeah, with Deep D. Ayana and yeah, Jared. Deep D. Yeah, because we talked about how the yeah. way Deep D wasn't picking up the signals. And Jared and chose one. somebody else and then settled for Ayana. Yeah. Oh, we. The but Asian girl and, and the white Natalie. dude that did the coke. You sure enough about it? I don't think we were. I don't. Review. I don't think we didn't watch the dude that all the way through. The one whose upper lip Unless got I stuck above here. his gums. Yeah, might have been. Um, he was with the Asian girl. I hardly remember the season. You, her name's name? Natalie. Natalie and Shane. Shane, yeah, yeah. coke dude. He's the. Uh, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> <laughs> I hate the way he talks. <laughs> I, I call him Coke Dude because that's what it seemed like he was on at the reunion. Yeah, he's uh, he's very bro like. He big bro. He, um, I don't remember, but I don't remember Nick Lachey and Vanessa doing the. Yeah, back they, to always do. <laughs> they, they, they always do. Yeah, they always do. They I don't think I watch no reunion. Think they be needed in the show. They just always come up. Hey guys, so today we're doing this. I don't know how they cast me, but they did. That's L A C H E Y on the check. Sal, and then he leaves. I want anybody else. I tweeted this, and I'm going to say it again. Get anybody. What are y'all thoughts? Doritos. I mean, no. nacho and cheese. Procter and Gamble. I've met both of them. Have you? Nick and Lachette. I mean, Nick and... That's because you keep Vanessa. doing that. Vanessa and Vanessa Nick. used to be Breesha's uh, co-star co on the show that she did with Tone Bell. And so that was the thing where I was like, oh, I was about to try to get us. It was going to be through Vanessa. Got it. Mm -hmm. So this is what I'll say. Vanessa... While I love her as a person, she pissed me off during this one. Like, pissed me off. Was she talking to Jackie? Oh, uh, my God, today. Yeah. From, from Jackie Marshall. to yeah. Marshall, I was like, oh, I'm mad. Yes. Um, but other than that, I wasn't hugely. I was waiting because everybody was dragging them online that could see it before we could. I was waiting to see something, like, terrible, terrible. So I had already set the bar low. So I didn't really get pissed off until that moment. Other than that, oh, I, was I didn't like, know okay. they were getting drugged. Oh. Yeah, nobody liked them. I watched it and I was like, I I text Melissa during the thing and was like, listen, I don't I don't want them to do this no more. And she was like, it's a talking point for the thing. I thought it was just me, mm -mm. but the way she did Marshall and them, she grilling Marshall like he was the. Uh, yeah, that's what that's, pissed me. Uh, Why are you grilling that, him? That pissed me off because it felt, um, even when she said something to the when he they were going jabs at each other and he said you know you got a strong jawline you may have been a man she was like well i don't know how i feel about that this woman jackie has been calling marshall gay essentially and the using the like flourish way yeah. to describe yeah. it yeah. soft soft sweet, sweet weak, from, the, from the right. inception of their relationship this one time and i'm not saying it's okay but the one time he's fed up and he jabs back and now you want to and you didn't even reciprocate the same energy to Jackie? Not at all. She was like, I mean, that is, doesn't matter because you've got this great guy beside you. Yeah. yeah. It, it, this, this is like like Kevin. I nor, I rarely pay attention to a host. There's one of the hosts that, of a show was watching. I was like, the after show, I was like, I can't listen to this lady talk. <laughs> but, yeah, watching these hosts, they were trash. 
Man. Uh, I could, I didn't know. I, Angel told me that they were getting drugged online, but I was like, all right, whatever. I didn't see none of that. But after watching it, they were, here's what pissed me off about Vanessa dealing with the whole Jackie thing. And it's like they just wanted their show to seem like a success. Mm. She was like, but you got your boo. Heifer, you know good and damn well <laughs> that this chick was the villain. And he was also the villain. And they were talking about how much he loved these dudes. He kept and I calling it a competition and they never Dude, even mm-mm. like said I, anything. I don't know if I said it on here, but seeing somebody as drunk as he was. I don't like being around that. I'm like, right. get me away from this oh, person because it, oh, yeah, it can go it real him. left real quick. He was just up, about how was cutting the, the way he was talking, the way he was. I'm like, nah, get, this is going to get real bad real soon. Yes. Like, for them to sit there and say, but you got your boo. Are we expecting a baby heifer? You know, good and got as that unstable as Jackie thing. is. Yeah, you got to stop asking people that. And you you t- got to stop it. Yeah, I, I was stop like, ain't people. that a faux pas? Listen. Yeah, and she even said it. She said, I know, th- I know you shouldn't ask this, but is there a well, baby? Girl, think you're going to have a baby soon? Dog, why? It's so <laughs> uncomfortable. Like, I'm, I these people have met each other in this amount of time and got married in the same snap. <laughs> They've now been together for a year. Let me decide if if I actually still like him. Right. If we still gonna make it because asking these folks, I'm just gonna say it. Y'all are gonna have the baby girl. No, a- right. ask him and Lauren at least. At least they've been together for a little. I would while. love somebody to be like, actually, I'm not able to have kids. That's that, that, I would love like, for somebody to tell listen, her that. Listen, we five broads. Shut up, sis. You're not supposed <laughs> to ask. We only really ask people the women their age. Right. You definitely ain't supposed to be asking all loud. The people you and, ask in addition Angel. to personal choice, like what if I just don't want kids? Right. Listen, that when people used to ask Angel, I'd be like, "You first, right? I don't care who it is. You gonna like, be a man? Kids? You gonna have kids? You first. <laughs> Shoot, <laughs> Madeline ass. People be there's a whole debate about. There's this dude on Twitter who said, um, he said it's selfish for you to not want children, and I as a children haver, come on, these kids, I can't think of a bigger um, decision requirement burden choice." In your life, yeah. if you decide I don't want that much for a myriad of reasons, kudos to you. Yeah, because it better you to decide. I ah, kids ain't really for me than to get some doggone kids and then find out kids ain't really for you. Because yeah, now they looking for you for milk and cereal. There are people that think that having kids is 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 uh, selfish because oh, your future generations is already too many of us. People are idiots. Overpopulation. That's I what people. people like, oh, yeah. Oh, when yeah. I, else, I was kids. having my fourth, they we were like, okay, Girl, that's irresponsible. You, they told you that? Mind your business. Yeah. yeah. That's what I want you to do. I was like, and people fix their mouth to say anything people in this are, world. People are stupid. When people. your mail comes to my address and then you pay the mail, the bills that come to my address, you can have an opinion. Until then, Man. shut up. Listen, but let me tell you, this episode is sponsored by Care of. <laughs> Okay, Care Of is a subscription service that ships high-quality personalized vitamins, supplements, and powders conveniently to your door every month. Care Of wants you to make it easy to take care of you and recognize everyday wellness is different for everyone. So how you get Care Of is that you take a short, in-depth quiz about your lifestyle, your health goals, and um, what that does is help them not only personalize your recommendations that are doctor back. A doctor back, excuse me, but it also takes the guesswork out of supplements that are best suited for you. Care of's daily vitamin packs are made with plant based compostable film to help limit the impact of the uh, on the environment without compromising the quality and safety of their products. The individual daily packs are convenient for travel. Just toss a couple in your bag or your purse and you're set. Each shipment comes with a customized pamphlet showing you exactly what is in your individual daily packs and why it was recommended specifically for you. In your health goals. Um, That is what I do love about it. I know that I'm not getting the same thing that maybe my mother would get or my sister would get. I'm getting what is specifically good for Angel. And the fact that the daily packs are put together. So it's not me having to do the, y'all know back in the day, people have the uh, Sunday through Saturday little pill things that you put all Mm -hmm. your little supplements in. You just grab one pack and you know you got everything you need for the day. So you guys. This is what we want you to do. For 50% off your first care of order, go to careof.com and enter code 
TBTB50. TBTB50. Again, for 50% off your first Care Of order, go to careof.com and enter code TBTB50. TBTB50. All right. All right, let's get into Also, the- before we go to that, I just want to say one thing. Shout out to Netflix for not having the thing on the time they said it. They were supposed oh, to have it. Oh, thank you. On. That was the other thing. Duh. How y'all don't have the stuff? <laughs> the colossal failure. Y'all didn't need. <laughs> y'all not even known for live. That, that's the problem. You're not known right. for this. You they try to get too big for their bridges. Didn't need to be. And I like. Oh, I'm a big fan of live. Like, oh, it's live. How y'all didn't plug in the thing? People with, are watching Netflix the same, whether it's live or not. Like, ne- you don't need to go through that trouble. You didn't need to do it. was solely <laughs> unnecessary for it to be a colossal <laughs> failure. I thought my Netflix was tripping. I thought too many people, so, my family my, was, was on it. Mm-hmm. I thought the internet was messed up. I was like, my main thing, I was like, man, I'm at my son's soccer. I could watch this. And then when I get home, it ain't one less thing to watch. Next thing you know, it's 6 o'clock. Mm-hmm. It's seven o'clock. Oh, it's like fifteen me minutes. <laughs> we gonna have <laughs> what? Tomorrow. Or maybe tomorrow at noon. I was like, Netflix. We are not Patreon. Just <laughs> right. filmed it and put it up at put a it time. On right. YouTube. I tweeted them. They didn't hit me back. I was like, put it on YouTube. That stuff is good for live. Yeah, at least yes, they could have edited and made the host look better, bro. <laughs> y'all came after all that and let them the two hosts bomb. It was not <laughs> worth the wait, which is really what pissed and me I off. And I think that's the other part I was feeling. It's like. Go out of town to this restaurant. You're like, oh, you got to go down to Mom's Rib Shack. Now, the line going to be two hours outside. But when you get it, it's going to be worth it. And then you get out there, and it's cold outside. Yeah. And you're like, oh, these ribs better be worth it. And then you go in there, and you sit down, and they're just the most average ribs you ever had. Now, that average is way worse because you done stood outside for two hours. That was Netflix. You had me no. waiting for something that I had to watch for work. And now I got to find time to watch it. Listen. I was trying to watch the playoffs. The Kings up 2-0. Mm-hmm. Kevin's sports analogy. But now I got to go and do this and watch the playoffs <laughs> at the same time. And now I'm upset. And it was now they there was like Jackie fought somebody. She was oh, on Zoom. I yeah. Cavs whole rant. He went from included food to sports. <laughs> Nobody even fought. It was just I, what happened then. When I tell you I was placing a bet with Mel, do you think it's technical? Do you think it's talent? And so when um, Marshall, somebody, that's she was trying to. I'm not even gonna lie to you. When Marshall what tweeted that Royal Rumble thing, we was like, oh. N- it's a fight. Jacqueline done went in there and caused the scene. This man, I'll be. Man. Nah, it wasn't nothing. You know it what it was? Not, it was really it, just. It was real big. I moved to California, and everybody here is telling me to go to In-N-Out, and I'm in the In-N-Out line. That's and exactly what burger. it is. And I'm like, That's exactly why the hell did I wait here for Marcus, 20 minutes? Me and Melissa In trash. this goddamn drive through for a burger with $1,000 dressing on it. The, trash. And what, not what only the, that, they gaslit us. They they gaslighted us. They said, "Check your internet, cause it might Every not be worth." Every episode will play, but that one. That's what Some I said. people would be able to watch it too. I, was oh, I saw a bunch of women that could watch. That's what I'm saying. Once you got in, it, uh, I use this analogy. It was like being at the checkout line when you go to the grocery store. If you're in while the light is on, the checker sees you. Once that light turns off, anybody after right. that, yeah. yeah, you are dead to. So you yes. see that person doing it, and the lights yeah, off. Hey, like, hey, I can't go there. We're I'm close. going on break. We're close. I'm going on break yeah. after you, this. You see the light? No. <laughs> yeah. Our whole Netflix stopped working in our bedroom. That's how much it they did. were like, "Stop trying, God dang it!" Listen, one of my friends on Twitter was like, "I'm not. I don't even watch the show. I was trying to watch Peaky Blinders. That ain't even going now, yeah, y'all. Everything was there." It made me so mad. Kevin's I was like, disgusting. what was this all for? <laughs> Go back to mailing out DVDs. Y'all ain't ready Utter for this live streaming. Y'all yeah. ain't got the server capacity. <laughs> <Mailing don't>. <laughs> Y'all ain't got the stuff. Go back I, to the box. You I want the <laughs> infrastructure. I want a I mail to use our old brick. credential card and go up in and there. Go up in there. Tell them to unplug it for and 30 seconds. It. And, hold it in it and plug it back in. Turn it on, turn it back on. I y'all said, looking at it. Food. When y'all look at it, it don't go. You got to up away and let it warm back <laughs> yeah. up. I would have said another joke, but I ain't trying to mess up your money. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's what they got. Yeah. Uh, that ain't working. Okay. <laughs> we did the host. We did the Netflix. The let's Flex do Net. That's, what that's they- all of us. Um, <laughs> let's talk about the first love triangle. Chelsea, Kwame, Micah. Kwame line. Kwame lied his ass off. Do, Kwame. Oh, just in general, before we even get started in on him, do these people not realize that we watched the show and watched all I, of this I happen? feel like when I was watching, I was like, you know we just watched Editing, this. Editing, we can go back and watch. We just watched it. Editing this. can only do so much. Go ahead, and I, I we was like, watch it week by week, though. I want them to know that. We, we watched, watched three, I, three, three, <laughs> four. 
in the month. Yeah, we it did. It's been a year for y'all. It's been since February 17th for us. It is fresh. Yeah, it's been since and two also, weeks ago for us. It's real fresh. You forget <laughs> that you said stuff in your confessional that yes. then don't back up what you're saying. And that that's probably also what pissed me off about. right now, just in case somebody I, I wrote it. a breakup letter, and he scratched out uh, what's-her-face's name, <laughs> yeah, Chelsea's yeah, yeah. name. I was like, put Micah. <laughs> I, that's the thing that pissed me she off also you. about, right, is it an underline or is it crossed out? That uh, Nick and Vanessa, I was like, no, call call them out. Keep They are receipts. You all have them. That, call them out. That's what the, so to me, this is why the host pissed me off. The host is supposed to ask what the people want to know. That's what the, the host is supposed to do. The host, <laughs> they, you know what it was? They feel like they're part of the cast. Yeah. Well, not that they're I protecting the thing, like Marcus Tanksley said. I will well, say I this: Anthony when I was I worked for Bravo for a little bit, and Did we, mm-hmm, I used to have a, a after kind of like an after show with them on their platform. Anyways, they would not allow us to talk negatively about any of the Bravo celebrities. Really? As much like I would have a good joke, and they'd be like. We could bring that back. Mm. And so I was like, okay, I can see why they might not be like, you did wrong. But I'm like, you got to ask the question. Yes. I feel like Andy Cohen, he does that really well with a couple of the shows where he's just like, okay, but you said this. Yes. Kevin Frazier does too. But yeah. she only did it with Vanessa. Only did it with certain people, though. She did because she, she, she did. did. She she didn't protect all of them. Mm-hmm. She did it with the opposite people we wanted her to right. do it with. Well, she or do it with everybody or nobody. Don't right. pick and right. choose, right. and right. then right. choose right. the wrong people. Right, 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 right. And don't allow people to not be there and get interviewed. That was my thing. I do. If Irina showed up and got flamed, yes, she did. did. They lit her. Then butt absolutely, up. there is <laughs> Zach, no reason <laughs> that old girl, um, Jackie? Jackie, she should have been. There. First of all, she was talking way too loud uh, with the freaking bullhorn about the receipt she was going to pull up with and then didn't. Mm-mm. So she came on there when they went to her. First of all, I have learned so much about myself. How we jump people. I take. We did a little bit. Oh, you okay. right about it. Who we on? Wait, wait, wait. Let's, right. We can go back. Let's no. go back. Oh, no. No, no. We did jump <laughs> No. Anything else on Chelsea? The other thing is Chelsea and Kwame, seen, Kwame, whatever, they seem to be um, seen uh, uh-huh. happy. Honestly, I, I don't I know what she do for her life. I thought they were going to be. I, for, okay, this is my own opinion. Mm-hmm. I don't think that man wanted her like that. Nah. I never really bought it ever. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I believe. He talking himself into loving her like I talk myself into eating right. Mm-hmm. Hello. Eventually, we know I'm going to be right back to where I want to be. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to see myself like I saw myself on a video walking in with Tony Baker. I said, oh, you, you big boy right now. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Big boy. Ain't nothing going to change because then I had a cheeseburger for breakfast. <laughs> but at least I know I'm lying to myself. I believe he either believes his own lies or he believes we believe it or she believes it. But it'd be like, bro, you not. You not feeling her like that. I still don't buy it. There was way too many instances where he went back to what's that chick's name? The trash. Micah. Micah. He went back to Micah like, Are you sure you made the right choice? Did you make the right choice? Uh, I mean, he was clearly still feeling this chick. One thousand percent. He was cl- she Chelsea was clearly his C choice. If yeah. Micah was of A and B. <laughs> Come on. She was well, like, he's she like, was, if you change like, your mind, well, I am I lost here. Her. Uh, guess I gotta go pro up for somebody else. Snatch her up. That's <laughs> that way. Then he's like, no, I was prepared. That is what he sounds like. It, it is the worst laugh. Bless his no, heart, that dude. All, you can't sit up here and be like, no, I was prepared. No, you weren't. You were prepared to break up with your wife. You still are. Let Michael be like, you know, we can make it work. Oh, right sorry, now. mate. Yeah, right now. You know what I hate about the way Kwame talks? He says right like that. Like he's in Clubhouse. So the way I feel is that she was always the one for me, right? So then I don't want to move yeah. to Seattle because it was really about Portland, right? Stop doing that. I don't and don't do this when you say right. You're yeah. not saying nothing <laughs> profound. This means blonde hair, white girl, right? <laughs> blonde hair, white girl. I, it this drives me. It's a really a pet peeve of mine. People say right like they are saying the most impactful stuff in the world. Yeah. And he does it all right. the time, and I'd be like, you ain't yeah. saying nothing. Be knowing like. Nah, I know. A BS can spot a BS. But that's why yeah. I want to know what she do for work because that house or apartment condo, whatever was, she had, with almost yeah. 360 views yeah. uh, over the Puget Sound. Yeah. You know what she is? Didn't she reminds me of um, 
Spence. When we be watching them shows and they go to buy the house and mm. they be like, I work at McDonald's. I pick up trash. <laughs> yes. Our budget is $7 million. Yes. What trash are you picking up? Go and bouillon? Because <laughs> regular folks, how y'all have the money to get that these? That'd be, that be white people, though. They'd be like, so what do you do? Therapist. I'm a substitute okay. teacher. How? Okay, okay, so let me. Who died and left you the money? Exactly. Because some two teachers can't buy houses right here. Yeah, they're not <laughs> going to ever sell. I'm in my neighborhood. Like, what y'all do? Because I've done eight podcasts this oh moment. Y'all just be everybody we be looking regular live, in here. We used to live near te- beside two teachers. I was on television. <laughs> And Marcus was full time, okay. and we were struggling. They adding on to the house. Yeah, I was like, additions and shit, new cars. It's like, like I don't see how are y'all teaching? How what middle school? What are y'all doing? Is we're doing really something good? wrong. Doing something <laughs> wrong. Everybody got four, five, six hundred thousand to put down. Oh yeah, she's a speech pathologist. Yeah, that's, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, of the Yo, other, her granddad died. He ain't want slaves. No, oh, absolutely. <laughs> He owns Seattle. I, uh, they, they, uh, I guess, dispelled the rumor that he hired his Thank sister you. and that he, um, she met the mama. Yeah. I didn't believe the sister was I, hired. I figured that no, was I a. I never heard that rumor until I saw. I just saw yeah. it on Angel TikTok me, and I, I immediately like, was like, I don't think that's true. Yeah. However, I want to hear from mama. Listen. Yeah. Oh, it's really great. We had a great relationship. You know, it, no, mm. I want to hear, hear from that black mama. I want to hear from mama. That she ain't going to get no black, black no, no. babies. <laughs> I, I want to hear. Chelsea going to Ghana? Because all she, yeah, I met her. Oh, and, she, and what was the interaction? She, you know that clip of Phaedra where she's like, ooh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's going to be Chelsea. <laughs> Chelsea's going to be like, I just love their hair. That's what I'm That's saying. She's going to say some she's gonna get yeah. them braids. You know, they go to Jamaica uh-huh. and they're getting them braids and stuff. She's going to be at Carnival. Listen, the only reason why I believe the rumor about the, the sister is because it was so wild and outlandish that I was just like, it could be. It's it so could crazy, be. Not, yeah. So it could be true. Right. It's just like, oh, because people be doing crazy things on these reality TV shows. Listen, I still stand by that escape the SWV show that people did not have Maseratis, and I want to talk to production. Oh, yeah. My. Now, I do feel like he hired them other two black dudes in his crew, though. I think all his friends were white. <laughs> yeah. All his friends were white. So he let me get... Two more niggas and in here. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Just don't Cause you in like Portland. Hey, you ain't found no other black nah. dudes in Portland. There you go. <laughs> at at unless they play for the Trailblazers. Uh, my boys have mostly Mexican friends because that's where they live. Yeah. yeah. They gonna be now. Me and Melissa got to be extra black, so they mm-hmm. don't. They don't lie. And that's yeah. why our friends are black. The kids is black. Yeah. You come home. You coming home to black. You coming home to <laughs> cocoa home. butter and incense. <laughs> come on. <laughs> But they grew up in a, that's how I grew up in El Paso. Like, mm-hmm. the blackness was at church and, and in my home. But that school was Mexican kids. It's okay. All right. Are we done with them? The last thing I want to say is Chelsea looked amazing. Matter of fact, a lot, most of the women looked amazing. But in comparison to, not the silence. <laughs> we just like, go ahead and speak your truth, sis. In comparison <laughs> to how she has looked all season. All right. I think she looked really good. But you know what? I'm going to give her the credit. Give Mike is still trash. Him. This yeah. episode is brought to you by... <laughs> <laughs> I thought she looked so good. You're also really kind, Liz. I really, but I, it would, she looked good. Okay, and then moving on. Yeah. Uh, let's Remind move on me. to. We, we, I can't say it in like, the mic. Yes. Chad. I know, she's like the silence. <laughs> we were like, we just going to let you have the floor, Liz. <laughs> you heard Dickie chewing over there. <laughs> like, I can't even say. I, I seen a fly good. walk like. That was I not going to be Liz. Okay, let's go. Oh, my God. I, I take it all back. I take every episode that I ever said anything bad about Bliss and Zach, I take it all back. Why? Well, you just I so became happy. a believer Did you? in their love. Oh. That's right, y'all wasn't I thought, love, oh, I hate their love. Not now. <laughs> I mean, not now. <laughs> <laughs> not now. I hate their love. Oh, my God, I couldn't stand it. I was like, first of all, I never, and I still don't know if it's going to work out, but I never think it works out when, like, oh, I choose you. You don't choose me. Us, uh, like, I choose you. And then I, come back? Yeah, I'd be like, hey, it's not going to work. Bliss looked Amazing. Zach went the other way. I don't like his like oh, see, I love it. Away he hair. Grew I, he grew a beard and a mustache. Oh, I was and like the, hair, the overgrown hair. That's why I liked it. I was like, keep covering that face. <laughs> 
keep letting it in. Tell if you could right be here. a teen wolf, just keep going. <laughs> I actually, Is I did. I like it on him. Yeah, yeah, you couldn't tell because he, he was in the bushes. Up. Beards do great for men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he had that all yeah, up. Yeah, most mustache. men, the beard is helpful. Yeah. Now, what were you saying? You that I at the end when he was talking about the song and like you know what it meant for them, and it was just this uh, you know analogy for their whole love story, and they just seen it seemed genuine, it seemed real, it seemed like they were in love, and I fell for it hook line and sinker. I Wait, was, she said her dad is okay with it now. Yeah, yes. that they're best buds. I was like. Yeah, yeah. Away? I can't or tell. The beard. It may, I don't know. He looks like beard. a very different person. To me. He had a lot of away. more yeah, hair. Yeah, yeah. He put a little bit of weight on. Away. That's I'm, not making fun. I just no, no. He definitely uh, put on. He looked like he'd been working out. Like it didn't look like all fat. No, no. I'm not even saying he just. No, he definitely fat. looked. He just thicker. looked bigger, he looked thicker than what he was. Definitely. And he wasn't playing like he was a little bit more jovial. I feel like sometimes in the show. Mm-hmm. He came for. He came uh, for when Irina, he, and he came for. Not only that, he low key. I don't know if y'all. Had the same interpretation. He, not only did he come for Irina, he came for uh, Micah. Mikey, yeah, my Micah. And yeah. the subtext that I read was, "You're coming in here acting like a victim. You're acting like a Karen. Mm-hmm. That man has already apologized Look, to you. Yeah, he's already done the things that needed to do, and you come in here being sad and it's unnecessary. And she was that's like, why I'm I finding said, out right now. That's why at the top I said, Zach, stand up. He was giving what the goddamn people need. Yes. Yeah. She, people was like, like, oh, no. He was real. like, first of all, you over here acting all this. This man done apologize. Yes. <laughs> but you I are think, still trash. I don't think yeah. they gave Zach enough heat. He should have been raked across them coals. Is he the for, one that said you shouldn't be my, you couldn't have my mom? I mean, you um, no, no, no. He's the one who first was with Irina. He chose yeah. Irina first. Yeah, and then she was trash to him. Hard team boy. Because that's trash. What? Trash, trash. Because he literally... Broke, they broke it off, and then he was like, hey, 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 uh, hey, Bliss, come uh, on, let me. Like, to say during the actual show, you were not my second choice. That's not what it is. Stop lying to yeah. this girl. You chose someone first. Yes. Then you chose her second. Yes. <laughs> and they do that every week, every time on that show. Why is it, like, y'all know how the game works. I mean, the, yeah. what well, they call well, the experiment. Uh, Bliss said, like, you a bad judge of character if you choose Right, trash chick over me. Yes, and I, he was like, "Yeah, you was right." Also, <laughs> also um, second of all, third of all, I want to know what uppers Bliss are on. I don't know what rose colored lenses she's wearing. What drug is it? I want it because this girl sees everything. That man was singing to her, and I was like, "Is my sound wrong?" Listen, <laughs> and she was just like, "This is the best." I thought I was going to get a gift. It. I and thought I was going to get the cameraman. Panned over to Irina, and I said, the pettiness. <laughs> For you yeah. to show us what Irina is thinking while this man is singing to Bliss. And Bliss is all, like, she... <laughs> She's they on mushrooms. Bliss, all they in. were right on with she, naming her Bliss. She's in Bliss. She's she in Bliss is, every time. She's just she, like... She, he's exactly what she needs, apparently. You remember... Uh, y'all y'all remember uh, I'm going to go ahead. Y'all remember... <laughs> I, don't, uh, I don't disagree with you on Zach, but I still 100,000% agree with the way he came at Irina and Micah. Yes. Because wasn't nobody else coming for them. She's on they shrooms. Playing, I'm sorry. They were playing big time <laughs> uh, uh, victim. 1, you know, I've really grown and I'm really sorry yeah, and yeah. it's not me anymore. It's still you. Both he y'all said, trash. I believe you came on this show to get famous. She didn't even... I she said, looked, ooh. She, he, he yeah. did. He was um, blame. All about it. Yes. Wait, who are we on right now? We Bliss. On- Bliss and uh, Zach. Yeah. Bliss yeah. and Werewolf. Oh, they was talking. That's what it was. He 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 was talking to what's the other dude's name? Paul. Micah was talking to Paul. What you talking about? Who I don't know. About? Who, who was the, who was Zach is Bliss's husband? Mm-hmm. Yes. So he was talking to Paul. They were like. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, what'd you whisper? He was like, I just said that he she be tripping. Yeah. <laughs> like, they asked him like he wasn't going to repeat. Listen, you know why? Because he be hanging out with Bliss's daddy. Yes. Right. Yeah. He's like, you're old. <laughs> this ain't right. But what is right is rocket money. <laughs> Let me tell you, I know a lot of us, we remembered we had a Netflix subscription and we wanted to be able to cancel it. But there's other subscriptions that... We be forgetting about because what do we do? We did that little free trial, seven days free. We forget to use the trial, we forget to cancel, and then all of a sudden you get spending twenty nine ninety nine to make your an elf yourself an elf for a Christmas card. I did that for years. They were taking my money. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, I haven't been an elf for about four or yeah, five years. Had kids. Oh my you goodness! Me, Angel, and two dogs. <laughs> um. So here's the thing about Rocket Money is that they will help you discover. 
subscriptions that you didn't even realize you had. Okay. Um, and what is great about it is because when you try to do it on your own, it can be so time consuming. There are so many apps that like you, that you kind of get tricked into or subscriptions that you get tricked into using just so you can get to this specific thing that you don't even know. Like sometimes the fine print, they get you and rocket money is like, but we got you. So do you know how much your subscriptions really cost? Most Americans think they spend around $80 a month on subscriptions. And the actual total is closer to 200. I know we're well past the 200 mark. What about you all, Frederick? We're probably there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she said we're your mm-hmm. we there. everything. Okay, so if you don't know exactly how much you're spending every month, you need rocket money. Rising prices stressing you out, raising prices stressing you out. You need to look for ways to cut costs, and you need rocket money. Rocket money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Over 80% of people who have subscriptions they forget about, and chances are you're one of them. Like that Stars app, just to watch one show, or that free gaming trial you never actually use. I, at one point in time, had two HBO accounts because I forgot I did a, a subs- free subscription on two different email addresses. Mm-hmm. I was getting, they were like, "Uh aha, we're going to get you twice. Um, Rocket Money will quickly and easily find your subscription for you. And you don't have, and if you don't want to pay for them, just hit cancel and Rocket Money will cancel it for you. It's that easy. Rocket Money also helps you manage all your finances in one place and automatically categorizes your expenses so you can easily track your budget in real time and also get alerted if anything looks off. Over 3 million people use Rocket Money, saving the average person up to 720 a year. Stop throwing away your money. Cancel unwanted subscriptions and manage your expenses the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash bald. Bald. That's rocketmoney.com slash bald. Bald. One more time. Rocketmoney.com slash bald. Bald. Okay. uh, Last thing. uh, Do we believe Irina has grown? No. Nah. I do believe, however, that she was grossly unaware of how terrible of a person she was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you what I, and this is, okay, so I just want to say this. I want to put it delicately. Don't. I was having a panic attack. I think people just be pulling mental health stuff off as a cover. I had a real life panic attack a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. It it don't look like you can cry in your pillow when you have a panic attack. Right. Not at all. (laughs) Not at all. It looked like like she was laughing and she... Marcus, the, come on now. Now, come on now, because you now you try to make real mental health issues right. not be real. Like, it's okay to just be like, I didn't realize how terrible a person I looked on camera. I had to really look at myself in the mirror because mm-hmm. that because she she like did it. She was trying to take accountability. She's like, but then I was having panic because, but I'm not blaming it on that. But I'm saying mental health is real. But <clears throat> she was acting like a child at recess. That's what it reminded me of. Like if you were at your cousin's house and they were just like, I'm gonna be annoying. Sound She sound He can't. They call her out too. Uh, oh, listed too. Oh, absolutely. Bliss, oh, she, Bliss oh, yeah. gathered her very With well. The nicest of words. Yeah, Looking like a little awesome. cherub over there. She was like <laughs> actually. Actually, yeah. what you don't yeah, realize. She looks amazing, was, though. Yes. Bliss's voice is about. Oh. I was like, Ain't nobody somebody voice put, the putting glass in my ear and Micah's doing voice. This. Um, <laughs> Bliss is right there. They're in the same country. Yeah. I thought it was she funny said, when the. Can, uh, Oh, and I was about to say, I thought it was funny when the audience started laughing at Arena. When you she was like, in the middle. I need, a, she was like, I need a moment. They were like, <laughs> oh my <laughs> God. Yes. Marcus, <laughs> Melissa, Angel. I forgot the audience was there for a minute until that happened. I didn't know and it was, was an like, audience until that moment. You, <laughs> you, you, you know she it. thought that was going to go differently. I love and it. And they laughed and I was like, well, I can't cry now because nobody bought this yeah, at I all. I wish they would have laughed harder. I also wish... Irina would have really owned up and was like, oh, yeah, I was a bitch this season. I was in there wrecking shop. Yes. I was, you know what I'm saying? If I found love, great. But if not, like, you know, Zach, I wasn't attracted to you. On or off paper. You like cartoon with beard, man. Now. Yeah, yeah. I've texted horrible things, but that is what I did. Yeah. And that yeah. was the thing she did text Bliss. It was like, you dodged a bullet. Meanwhile, this girl is happily in love. That's what she texted her? Yes. I missed that part. Yes, yes. when they were in Mexico, yes, whenever said. they got their phones she said, back. You texted me and said I dodged a bullet. She was like, you said it. Let's not even. Bliss and Zach sat up and was like, this is what we're going to talk about. This is what we're going to address. These are the issues on the thing. Let's make sure you got your speaking points. I got my speaking points. Man, One, two, three, break. They, they were like the locks versus dipset. <laughs> Meanwhile, Kwame and uh, Chelsea was like, 
Let's lie. Yeah. <laughs> yes. She was like, you will not make a fool of me again. Right. So who did you choose? Who will you always choose? And who I, do you I, have? And I, I apologize, apologize because this is my wife. To He's her, to her family. To her and family. to the people watching. Is that what I'm saying? Yeah, boy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I apologize to every white well, first woman First I need to apologize to her hair. family, right? Because the thing is, not only did I invest her, I invest her family. Also, Kwame right? changed his hair. I didn't what? Know this. I didn't know yes. that at all. What, what do you do? I actually think he probably did some sort of either Beijing or hair implant situation. But when you look at him from the reunion versus before, the the sides were more filled in. They were more filled in. I wonder if he uh, sprayed it sprayed it in. He mm-hmm. got the Donna's recipe. Yeah, it the was, Donna's yeah, it was recipe. <laughs> Let's yeah, he got the hairline that. together. He was he like, did. I'm not sick of y'all. He did. He did. Mm-hmm. I didn't notice. I noticed. I thought it was the suit. But apparently, yeah. <laughs> yes. I didn't really watch. Something I was stuff. listening. Something, something going on suit. with you. <laughs> but I want to say one more thing about Bliss. She told that girl, maybe you'll be a better person in the future. She sure did. And I hope you can. <laughs> she, basically, you're still trash right now. Right now. Because <laughs> it was all bull, bull crap. And that's you know. what I thought. That's why the Jackie thing gave me so much uh, frustration. Yeah. Because they gave it to Irina. Because I mean, uh, Nick Lachey was like, yeah, kudos to you. Like, you came, you took your... Your lashes, and then they're like, "Now, Jackie, we love you, you crazy girl." Yeah, you, you found your love. Love. That Yeah, was like you kept the ring. All the stuff was bad. None of that mattered because you got your boo. Shut yeah. up. That really was. I, I that's the one thing I'll give Irina. She was like, you know, "If I'm gonna be famous, I gotta show up." Show sure up. Yeah, <laughs> and really. I was like, "Okay, well, take your lashes." She came. She had a dark hair, dark dress. Uh-huh. Yeah. She came in like Elvira. Like, I'm, listen, I'm I'm trying to be on the oh what, what's the one they put perfect them in? match. I'm trying to be on the perfect match. Yeah, so I can't be so up. bad. That, that, that right. nobody wants me around. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I got to show that I've grown, but not enough to y'all don't cast me. Yeah. <laughs> she was like, and what I heard of the people who've been bullied, and I've heard their journey, I just really realized that there was a lot of things that happened. <laughs> like, that was the type of stuff. Listen, I was like, you said Allen nothing. said, white girls talk like they're swallowing, swallowing their words. Their word. yes. That's how that girl talks. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes. Like, they just be at the back. Oh, God, <laughs> they're about to drown. <laughs> But yeah, no, I loved how they handled uh, Irina, Irina and that she had to. Uh oh, am I it's, supposed to be picking up my job right now? <laughs> no, that's Thursday. Okay, praise God. Um, I was like, oh no. Listen, let me tell you what. That's real parenthood. <laughs> my son texted me about two weeks ago. Who's picking me up? I checked the time. I said, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> I sure was supposed to be there. I had it in my calendar and everything. <laughs> And I mean, if you ain't forgot your kid at least once, oh, are you, yeah. do you even love him? I did him? it last week. I said, Victory, how close are you to the Twins bus stop? Because you would probably beat me there. Uh, I was in the middle of a meeting, like, Live, Living eating. your life. Living was, your life. I was eating, like, yeah, I got to get my Twins. <laughs> I, I should have been gone 10 minutes Listen, when the kids she got said, different Jenny. schools and different times, I'm gonna tell you why. It's ridiculous. It's a lot. And I'm going to tell you why. We actually talked about this. This is the thing. When y'all, dear school districts, when y'all send the email with all the like current events, color code them. <laughs> Red for important. Come on. Let me know <laughs> what you don't want to miss is your child has a half day on Thursday. Oh, they right. love that. Oh, now we did that. We oh, have been oh. nowhere near. Oh, we They're, have been at the bus stop and wasn't no damn school. Yes. <laughs> now I did do that. I was like, first day of school. I wasn't going to put it on you. We did a whole first day of school. Dry run, apparently. Had the baby hold up the board. We was at bus stop. I said, now where is these people? <laughs> And then I went on the website and was like, so, great dress <laughs> <Practice>. rehearsal. <laughs> We're going to do great tomorrow, guys. <laughs> Melissa had our boys spring break in the calendar wrong oh, for a whole, whole week wrong. Wrong. A whole week I'm wrong. I'm talking about wrong, planned our entire life. Wrong. And didn't know until Isaiah was getting out of school Thursday. Hey, I, that I, is I had insane. a half. He said, uh, no, it was uh, Cesar Chavez Day. Cesar Chavez Day. I don't I have school on Friday. It's Cesar Chavez Day. I say, well, well, why would it be on Friday? That usually runs into spring break. Spring break's not till next week. No, no, no. Spring break's this week. Well, how was that possible? <laughs> <laughs> the spring uh, break, can we call them and change We bought plane tickets. Yeah, yeah, Hawaii is not expecting us for another week. <laughs> we re- I mean, I referenced that thing. I was planning tours. 
Everything. We yeah, yeah. Oh, placards. I'm reading all of these uh, placards. Marcus, uh, nothing in my. I don't know how we would have known if if he didn't, actually, if he had school that if, Friday, oh, we still wouldn't have known. Oh no, no. If he had school on Friday, we would have been getting CPS emails about why your kids are absent from school <laughs> for longer than three days at a time. Listen, we already spent the money on that whole. Y'all don't listen, we have somebody in their pineapple. I was on set once when one of these stupid half days, and somebody called me from the bus stop. Hey, this is when little Marcus was there. Mm-hmm. Hey, uh, little Marcus is here on the bus. Stop waiting for you. I was like, oh, they haven't shot my scene. Yet. <laughs> you have to get the neighbor to go get him. <laughs> hey, Eddie, how you doing? Were you practicing music? Hey, could you get in your car? <laughs> Sounds amazing. <laughs> could you get in the car and go get my yeah. child? Hold him for a second for me. I'll be yeah. right there. Just hold him for a second. Hold him for a second. I understand. Uh, I was like, well, who can get to him first? Because clearly I can't. Listen, Listen. <laughs> because getting on the road, driving fast is the worst sweat and oh. anxiety. Oh, it is. Mm-hmm. Oh, it is. Anyway. All right, here we go. We're moving on to, um, uh, do we want to do Jackie and Marshall? Ye- okay, go uh, ahead. Yes. First of all, and I'm, I was trying my best not to talk negatively about anyone's appearance because I, that is the person I'm growing to be on this podcast. Mm. However, Josh's hair oh. <laughs> looked like my chocha like during the pandemic oh, Josh. when I couldn't get to a waxer. Go back and look at it. Yeah. It looked like the all the salons are closed. He you can't had get like no wax. Skinny box. And it like, was a year. But it yeah, it was doing something. Did, weird. You, did you try to be a better person? I did, but no, that you, but you that kept the same thing you would have always said. You pulled, you pulled I did. The thing that all these chicks pulled on the show. It's like, look, I'm trying to be a better person. Also, <laughs> it I'm did. not trying at all. It was like it looked just <laughs> like my snatch. I said, "What you doing up there on that man's head? You are married." Gucci hair be get fine back too. In my, get be back straight, in my get back in my do it it's straight and then had some curves. Listen. Yes. And he had that thing <laughs> sitting on top of his head. Gucci hair don't. They don't. It don't go like the other hair. Nah. And and like you, some of us gonna go this way. Yeah. We ain't got to be together because we don't look at us. If you looking at us this close, you it's ain't like looking it's at trying us. Trying to dodge your vision. Hey. <laughs> Well, this is the thing. I was like, they on a Zoom. He can see that. It's different when you on camera. Like, we can't see ourselves unless we look at the feed. Well, he, he can see with himself. I said, yeah. you ain't going to brush that? Did you hear me like this? That's what it looked like. I said, that is, like that is pandemic snatch. It be like... You see, we, we've been together with yes. these women a long time, Marcus. That waxing wasn't always the case. No, nah, it wasn't. Early 2000s, hey. it was civil rights. Hey, I was, was coming my way fight. through the weeds. <laughs> it was <laughs> Huey Newton. I was like, here, watch out. It, it was Bobby Seals. It was Fred Hampton. Yeah. We was feeding the kids community hey. lunches and uh-huh. stuff. That's yeah. a community lunch. <laughs> we go to the I go like this to get to the... <laughs> <laughs> You got to get everything out the way, kid. Because <laughs> you been there. <laughs> you been there. You got to borrow you first. Get the uh, way. You can't just go in to lick it. Oh, no. You got to separate oh, that. Oh, you're going to be licking carpet. You got to part the carpet. Yeah, get all that out of here. Get in that Jumanji. Yeah. <laughs> she, oh, hold on, what you say? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have a machete? The little bit. Clint was got, like, he, he yeah. getting close. You got to part the ways, You got to hold it. You just got to tape it to the side. Yeah. Tape it? <laughs> you got the cut of the hair clips. Just hey, clip part it. Of this let me just braid these. Man. Give me. I'm I can't yeah. stand just either say. one of y'all. Let me yeah, braid y'all both don't going to hell. Me. Just relax. I got you. Don't we'll worry about braid these to the side. Put some little this beads on it. This is for you. All right. <laughs> Hold on. Let's go do two strands. Why do people I'm a braid. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, she said why? That burrow was real. Hey, that burrow was real. We didn't all burrow if you a certain age. Yeah, I did not do this. I was only talking about this man's hair. The pit. Oh my god. Oh, like a popcorn <laughs> pearl. <laughs> <laughs> you never really get it. It's always in Hold on, if you get it, it'd be like that long. Bro, <laughs> done ruined your whole day. You're trying to gawk. <laughs> I just want to, I need like a little pressure wash. <laughs> a pressure wash? I was only talking about hey. this man's head. That's hair. Hey, y'all, we know way more about Coochie hair than y'all oh, do. Yeah. <laughs> so much you know, so We much got more. to get up face to face yeah. with it. Talk to it. Be like, hello. Hello. Now I'm yeah, hello. Way. I'm finna lit. No, you took him a note. It's all right. <laughs> 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 Moving on. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> what y'all saying? Oh, I can't. <laughs> 
can't recover. Oh. There is no uh, recovery. Oh. <laughs> I'm serious talking about disgusting. Grow up. No. Grow you up and eat that up. cat. <laughs> hey, it's real life. It's oh, real life. my God. <laughs> no, I appreciate no. the, the waxers. Oh, yeah. my God. It's the meat of the matter way oh, faster. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Mm-hmm. It's two, oh, oh, five, oh, six. Hey. Shut up. Your we face. shall Whoa. overcome. Yeah. We, no this justice. Like a pillow no down peace. There. You just, no mm. justice. No <laughs> peace. No mm. justice. No peace. No ju- <laughs> hey, yo, we got to fight for what we believe in, Jack. <laughs> Say, man, what it is, yeah, brother? on the black side. <laughs> <laughs> I got that cut yeah. out back. You yeah, want to see the Jackson that. 5? Why is this a 5? I know, I know. Pit? Why is this a bit? Why is this a bit? So y'all coochies was hairy. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> we didn't care. I, listen. You were grab that plant. That's... <laughs> <laughs> no, That's what it was right there, Kev. Get through it. No, no, okay. no, why don't no more act outs? <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Uh, hello. There you are. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh no, man. No. I'm so glad we bought that plant. Oh, that was no. great. <laughs> no. That's why they don't never invite us to none of that stuff. They, they don't, don't invite us. Yeah, they invite us. Me They're inviting us. <laughs> don't invite us, man. The more y'all don't invite us, the wilder we going to be. That's why the man had coochie hair up on the top. Matter of fact, you done started you it, ain't you? I was giving. Said, Marcus said, Burl. <laughs> You and said I thought my I was snatch alone. was on the head. Hey, your snatch been on some head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So. It is hot in here now. <laughs> oh. Okay. So. Well, later on today, you're going to be like, I'll be damned. That's hey, all it that was. That's <laughs> all it that was. I. Uh, oh. This episode is sponsored oh. by BetterHelp. Because <laughs> we need it. Yes, because we. We need it. We need help, and it needs to be better than what we currently have. Ha. Huh. <laughs> you know, you learn something new about yourself. Oh, my God. Uh, apparently, uh, when you learn about yourself and learn something new about yourself, it can feel life-changing. Well, you know, uh, discovering yourself and getting to know yourself is a lifelong process. And... Uh, you're always growing and changing, <laughs> apparently. Uh, therapy is about deepening your self-awareness and understanding. And uh, sometimes we don't really know what we want or why we react a certain way until we talk things through. And BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist that can help you on that journey of self-discovery wherever you are. I actually have a therapy appointment today at 3. <laughs> Thank the Lord. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Talk to him. Tell them what you need help. <laughs> okay. She has been so wonderful at helping me decipher some of my feelings, some of my emotions, and getting a better understanding of myself so that I can work through stressful situations, so that I can be a better friend, so I can be a better wife and a better mother. Um, and I don't think I could have did this without her. I'm almost positive. So if you're thinking about starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, and it's designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to fit your schedule. So you can do it anywhere, anytime that you feel comfortable. You just fill out a brief questionnaire, and you'll get matched with a professional licensed therapist. And what's also great, which is not usually the case in a lot of traditional therapy settings, you can switch at any time at no additional cost for you. So, discover your potential with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash TBTB today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash TBTB. TBTB. Oh, my Okay, God. well. Cut that out. Whoever edits that, send it to me. It's Aubrey. <laughs> you start from the burrow and all the way to that plant, and you send that to me. Slice it out, <laughs> You ain't seen this podcast before. You ain't a fan. You gonna yeah. be a fan after that. Tag me. That's elaborate. We do the handshake. <laughs> Y'all ain't even know That's nothing about that. That's that 20 years. So stupid. I don't even know who was talking about. Jackie. Thank you. 
Oh, yeah. What would you say? Jackie and Josh. Oh, Josh. Oh, and I was just talking that's how we about got on you. That. No, I, no, you all went down that path all on your own. No, no Andrew. I you, a, you, you threw you that said, ball off the backboard and we was without, already running. Without the waxing. We was like, hey, who remember that? No, I put a period at the end of the statement. Uh, y'all kicked that period yeah, and said a, semicolon. <laughs> I was like, no, 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 no. No, that was a comma. No. no period. I put a period. Y'all said swipe underneath that and keep going. <laughs> Move that period up. All right, that's you this it. idea. From my point of view, if you will. Um, yeah. Vanessa, as everybody says, Vanessa did not really ask Jackie the right questions. No. Nah. She was way too happy-go-lucky with them. And I'm not saying that Vanessa had to be like, you did wrong, da 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 da, da but call her out on that bullshit, especially yeah. not giving the ring back. That would... That, I, I would have threw so much... I threw it through a wrench in that. It's like, how do you feel about her keeping another man's ring? Not, it's so tight. Right, because like, right, she was with OD. That? That's a great point. She's like, so why did you keep, you still got the ring? <laughs> I don't, like, she did no, it like that with the that ring. Give it back. And that, that's the thing about it. You know production <laughs> paid for that anyway. Right. No, nah, She's like, I'm about to pawn this. But this is ultimately I trash for that. I, I feel like yes. they must have a relationship we don't know. Maybe. Something. Because she didn't ask her the most basic of questions. And also, she came out with like a kind of an opening statement of like, first off, I apologize. I was wrong. I've been seeking help, trying to get better. And um, she also was like, uh, oh, what else did she say? Like, she knew this was her moment. I think it was strategic to not come as well. Oh, definitely. Strategic to not come. Exactly. Oh, that's what she said. 1,000%. <laughs> she was like, um, and the show edited it like, we was like I, I skipped the bridal sh- I mean the wedding sorry the, the wedding the dress fitting, fitting yeah, and yeah, went yeah. on the date and that wasn't later that creative editing we we all figured that the point is you did that behavior though right, right. Like, and the you point did is, not tell Marshall you weren't going to the dress that's fitting. what I'm saying when the timing is really irrelevant you didn't go to the right. fitting you still was thinking about and setting up a date with that dude and kept the ring. Yes. The order with which you did that isn't matter. as important as right. the fact that you did it. If I'm editing the show, absolutely, the audience is going, well, where is she at? Funny you should ask. She's on a date with this dude. Is it in real time? No. Who cares? If you right. weren't on a date with that dude, they couldn't put that in the edit yeah. right. if you didn't do that. Yeah, and on top of trying to make it seem like Marshall still had issues, I just hope that he has matured as well. It's like... What? Well, yeah, that's the other thing. I wasn't aware he was doing all this stuff that was off camera. Apparently, it, it was with the way she made the way she set it up to try to really like give herself a little mm-hmm. in a way out was to say he called me a derogatory term. Yes, yeah. and I, those were the receipts I was waiting for. And then when Marshall fessed up and just said, unless he said something else, yeah. Oh, you all, soft, you this, you that, you assist, you gay, you this, and you got strong. Draw a line. <gasps> and you look, he said, I said she could be a man. Mm-hmm. That is not a derogatory no. term. No, no it's not. not. I thought it She's was something. calling it one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, she lied. No, no, no. She's just lying to make herself oh, yeah. seem as though she can be absolved of some of her trash behavior. And that was after weeks of Take trash it. talking him. Yeah. And then it was like, girl, shut, I want you to shut up. Correct. <laughs> it's always funny to me when you say that like that. I want you to sh- It's like you are so I, done with it. I, I, I that's what it is. Up. Once I get, fact. yeah, as, I want you while to we're shut here, up. shut up. Why, why did I say I will let? Yes. I meant right. shut, shut up. up. <laughs> I just want you to, matter of fact, I just want you to shut up. That's really what it boils down to. The conversation's done. She got away with, and the thing about it is, she was a little dramatic early in the episodes for me, but she didn't really bother me. Yeah. The last, of the last three episodes, she she waited till the last couple episodes to really act out. Yeah. So Irina was trash in episode three and four and stuff. From the beginning. It, yeah, and they and they harped on her like it just happened. Jackie's stuff was way more fresh in my mind. Yeah. Yeah. When she was dating Josh and stuff like, and to me that's really to me, Kevin, and I get why they don't do it. But if you go in and I want to be with Melissa and it don't work out, all right, you out. Go home. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She's like, well, that. Other- from there, I liked him kind of bit. No, yeah. go. You're done. That's the whole thing is loving the pods. If y'all don't make it, send them home. I don't want. Well, actually, that's my second choice. Outside of the pods, I actually talked to him. Well, let me see what you look. That's nah. why I didn't like the Zach situation. You're off the yeah. show, yeah. man. Yeah, I agree yeah. with that. You missed. It's like no. This it. is a different situation. Y'all now dating in real life. 
because right. they dated for like a week and then he proposed or whatever have you. Right. And then the same thing like with. Hit me up after the show. After yeah. the show. <laughs> like they, they doing it right as they right. feeling like hit me when I, you get Because they're trying to prolong their TV time. And right. so that's why I'm like, why didn't Vanessa say that? Like, so you said in your text messages, you got to draw it out for TV. Right. So at what point in time did you decide I'm no longer interested in this man and I'm just going to be here for television? Yep. Wait, was that a real text somebody said? Yes, Jackie put that in a text message. The receipts to her friends. I missed that part completely. Yeah, th that's the reason why we're all pissed off at Vanessa because Jackie dug a ditch so deep. And Vanessa was like, let me help you out of it. Yes. Instead of yelling down there, okay, now why you say this? Right. <laughs> why you say that? Uh, but yeah, she even said, she was like, you got to draw it out as long as you can for television. So I'm pretty sure Jackie knew as soon as she saw Marshall... She was out. This is not. This is not who I want to be with. But I got to make it for the next six weeks. Well, that's the thing. Like the sh you can leave in the show, can't you? Yes. People don't have to stay. Right. Uh, but then you don't get money or TV time. It's all about the show. That's and once makes... you're in the universe, the way that they're flipping the, the perfect match and, you know, the competition shows and stuff. Once you're in the universe, you you're might in end the up universe. On, uh, what's the other show that people was on? The ones that didn't make it into the reality no, no, show. not even that. The 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 social media one. Oh, the circle. Oh, the you circle. might end up in the circle. They be they be having their own rule, world rules. Yes, their MTV Netflix. Bravo universe. Yes, oh, really? so mm -hmm. yeah, they're trying. They be showing up in all type of shows. That's like the perfect the matches. All of them, ain't it? The Bachelor and Bachelorette. They have Bachelor in Paradise. They will come up. Oh, because they bring the people. They if bring, you're yeah. memorable. Yeah. The the Real Housewives. They have the the Real Housewives on Spring Break. Whatever the little thing is, and they have. Women oh, I saw from that. Where they go to the trip? Yes, on different. Uh, st cities, states, whatever yeah. the case, and they get together. <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> That's the point. They get together and go on the trip. <laughs> so away. I like it. Ain't like we done. We get it. Like you're trying to get the Netflix back. Shane is doing it. Yes, they're all it doing it. The white, the white people do it a little bit better. Yeah, they always tap them on the shoulder a little bit more than the black folk. But still, yeah. I uh, oh, go, go ahead. ahead. Mm -mm. I also. I I also think, yeah, but they should not have had Vanessa do the interview. They also should not have let Jackie interview. Her time yeah. to shine mm -hmm. should have that been over. over. You're not. It should have been not, over. You are out. Yeah. Because yeah. they took, because it's not just, this is the thing. I would feel like production would be mad because the big thing, the big reveal is supposed to happen at the wedding. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to make it all the right. way to the wedding. Yep. As Marshall was stating, yep. to be able to say your yes or no mm -hmm. yes. there. Yeah. So they robbed the show. That Jackie robbed the show of that opportunity as well. Because it's not like she started dating Josh with the intent of, we're going to do the altar thing. Right. Marshall's out. Yeah. She's like, I'm, we're going to give them this, this little date. And yep. that'll be the end of our storyline. Yeah, she did like a little side, like, yeah. give us right. some, some that air Marshall, time. he got robbed twice. He was right. Yeah, he but did. then, did you guys hear that he Three said he started dating ring. someone else? Yeah. The from show. the show. What? Who? He, he pa said, pa 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 I don't, I don't remember who she was. I don't remember who she was. He said that it wasn't actually dating. It was. They went on she, one she date. She reached out to him. So sorry to hear that. They met up. Oh, and that was when it. I went to dinner or whatever, and that was it. Oh, like I see. It was I see. nothing. He oh, said, he said first of all, Keisha, he said, let's define a date. Dating. Keisha dating. I did hear him say that. Season. I don't remember her. It wasn't them actually talking. But oh, I'm did glad. she was, not make the. It was a black girl oh, in the, the pod. black girl. girl. I do, because she was giving oh, very pretty. much mind my business. I'm going to mind my business when Irene Sorry. and them was acting a donkey. Mm -hmm. She oh, was. I think she was on the couch looking like. She sure was. That's exactly. Looking like black people. I do like how he cleared it up. Like. You do you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leave me alone. Yeah. <laughs> like, and it's because she was being, she was trying so hard to slander Marshall. Yes. And it was like, he, he called really me a derogatory term. He wanted to be engaged with somebody else. He is a terrible person. Like, girl, stop. Whatever will work to make me not yeah. look as bad as I should be looking because I should be looking terrible because I was tripping. Right, exactly. Truly, truly. And I really wish Marshall would have went a bit harder. I do too. Uh, yeah. I was like, why are you, uh uh, don't tiptoe. Do be like, she was terrible. She used to blow up for no reason and get upset. Yeah. I tried. Mm -hmm. Um and uh yeah I'm pissed but I mean, he did say he was pissed off but I would have nah, been, like, been like Vanessa nah. why you ask her all these hard nah. questions man I'd be like, Vanessa why you putting crazy ass people on the show <laughs> I would have went directly seriously at yeah. like I've seen what this chick was doing um, right. uh yeah and and the fact that Vanessa was like I don't know about that, that when he said the man thing girl 
I, yeah, I didn't like that. It was, yeah, there, he, you, shut up. Uh, you can shut up too, as the host. That really up. did. I was like, Vanessa, what is you talking about? I get it, girl power and stuff, but this is not the time. No. 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 This is not, Jackie's okay. Yeah. Uh, the other thing is, I, I don't mind Vanessa and Nick during the season. I think that's cool. It's kind of a miscellaneous role. Yeah, plug and play I, that's what I don't mind what's them going either. On. Yeah, I think for okay, the reunion, so me and Mel were talking to... about this. You need someone who doesn't have the attachment. 1,000%. So they can just ask the question. Was so, Kevin Frazier? He Kevin Frazier just he comes for that. He ain't pulling people on and, and uh, producing the show. He's just like, I'm just going to interview y'all. I watched what happened. So That's all. <laughs> so who who would you like to see before we move on to the bald and the beautiful? We could do it. The bald and the beautiful. We could I do would it. also. I go. go ahead. You, and you want to say what you said? Go ahead. Go ahead. No, say it. Lauren and Cameron? No, not for the reunion. I wouldn't mind Lauren and Cameron being the, the I'm oh, going to tell you. The yeah. couple going in. I yeah. Lauren and Camera, uh, or Lauren and Cam, I think because they went through the experiment and stuff. I mean, they're also love the, you know, the fairy tale people. Um, but they may have a little bit like of empathy. So I would love to see them be the Nick and Vanessa, yeah. but not be the three. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, we would sign y'all's little thing and say we wouldn't say nothing too harsh. And we'll, uh, uh, <laughs> Jesse Wu. Oh, Jesse Wu. She's be hilarious. Great. She would be clowning these people. She would be people. great. You, you would have the reunion of reunions. And she'd really be watching the show, too, so it wouldn't be like she's not aware right. of the universe. But right. she'd be talking would. about people crazy like we do. She do. Yes. So that, that oh, would yeah, be. sign us up. Put Jesse Wu on there. I'm <laughs> yeah. with Jesse Wu. Or Kevin <clears throat> Frazier. I like how Kevin Frazier does it on Married at First Sight. He does yeah, Except for when I he's like he's, a fan of somebody. Yeah, and I feel like, like he's also restrictive. I think you know Nina I mean? Parker. If we're going to go with people I who are good Nina hosts, Parker. Nina mm-hmm. will come in there and gather everyone. But she was going, there was a clip of her going viral. Uh, with uh, Jasmine, I mean with, with uh, Jocelyn. Jocelyn, Jocelyn oh, Hernandez. Oh yeah, I did you saw see that. that. I did and you see know that. Jocelyn, that's the one. Oh, I can't say what I used to say about her because that is not right. Jocelyn, <laughs> she's the one with the, she's a Latina. And she, uh, Stevie. Stevie. Bruno Mars. Yes, she got the same yeah. Bruno Mars haircut. They got the same wig, it looked uh, like. I, and anyway, I didn't understand the connection. In, like, anyways, she going gross. back and forth with uh, Nina, and Nina was, like, gathering her. She was like, I mean, you a little blogger? She was like, actually, I have a degree in journalism. She was like, okay, journalism blogger. And she was like, like, held her own. Yeah. That's yeah, what they need. Like, we'll continue. Yeah. Because uh-huh. it's not the same. Yeah. yeah. And it's not. Anybody can be a blogger. Not anybody can be a journalism degree Shut holder. Up. Um, okay, anything else? We did Jackie. We did Marshall. Okay, let's do... Um, oh, Marshall's brother. No, Marshall's cousin was one of the finalists on oh, The Bachelorette. Oh, that. Really? Yes, I said small world. His cousin was... Uh, man or woman? Man. He, the, the season where they had this white girl, Katie, who ended up being a drab. I think she forgot that this boy was still on the show, so he ended up being the, the, the second guy. Because I think she forgot. She was like, oh, there's a nigga still here. Um, I don't want to be with you. Uh, so he made it far. So he's in a lot of the still in the Bachelor universe because of how far he went. And now, now this one, Justin Gaze. He was, a, he was always painting stuff. I was like, you are not an artist. You Stop. are. Okay. Stop, Justin. Um, uh, so we're on our favorites. Tiffany and Brett. We're on Tiffany and Brett. Y'all didn't like them? Yeah. yeah, I love them. Yeah. I thought Tiffany yeah. they're gonna be on Black Love if phenomenal. they ever come back. Phenomenal, mm-hmm. she out. Cody she is out. out. Cody's out. Uh, but I thought Tiffany and Brett or Tiffany. I thought she looked amazing. Yeah, she did look amazing. I thought she looked so good. They seemed so in love. I didn't know that he lived in Portland. Me neither. I mean, it makes sense though because he works for Nike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, I, I forgot that it's there. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> totally forgot that. I mean, they're just, they look just happy and love. They're Woody and Imani. They're, yeah. uh, gr- uh, Greg and, uh, starts oh, with love D. Him. You from say Greg? Greg and, oh my God, from, uh, Married at First. What is a uh, Greg? Oh, this is season Greg we didn't and watch. Or, is it no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We Deanna and, um, we did. Oh, Greg? no, we did. It was, Deanna. A, uh, it was no, no, Deanna, no, no. Deanna, Deanna, Deanna. Deanna Karen and Greg, and, right? Uh, Karen and Miles. Deanna, his name is Greg? I don't think his name is Greg. Greg and yeah. Dharma? No, Not Karen. De- Deanna, Greg. No, no, no. Karen and Miles. Greg and Deanna. Amani Woody, Woody and Mommy. And Vince, Vince and, and, Vince? De- and Brianna. Because yeah. they, they just had a baby. The show just had a little baby. Yeah, yeah we want to watch shows full of them. No, type of she couple. showed the baby. The she has a baby. You need, the baby. so basically, the formula is you got to have somebody black involved in the relationship in order for this thing to work. Lauren and Cameron, too. They made it work. Lauren yeah, and you got to have, because black people, we love hard. 
We either going to love you hard or hate you hard. It's going to be hard either way. Let me tell you. Black women, black women, when we not crazy, because we have had some of those in these shows. Hurricane. Uh, we be, we Her be, yeah. we be loving. She was tripping. Even when old girl was with old dude that was, uh, you know, not right. She made it last longer than most black she women would have. She last forever, You man. don't know what I'm talking about? Old girl. Uh, who was with old dude? Ayana and uh, Paige, Jared. Paige mm. and Chris. He knew. Oh, oh she was dumb. <laughs> <laughs> See, I want y'all to understand. Y'all shit. Wait, well, no, single no. us out. <laughs> single us out. Zoom in. Because here's the thing. <laughs> Me and Marcus always get uh, talked about for being rude about the mouth. No, I be. You even come at me. But I be. But everybody else do it. Everybody laugh. No, but. No, me. Marcus. It ain't that. I just want y'all to know. Marcus. We ain't got the slickest mouth up here. We just don't have a lot of barriers in front of our mouth. <laughs> the slickest mouth. Mm-mm. It ain't on this camera. It's over there. <laughs> I like the way you know I rock thong. Rock thong. <laughs> Liz, you, you, you couldn't catch your words. You were already oh, no, out in the world. Some, like, that, that, you, oh, but mean, it's only on occasion that sometimes I'm like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's Come why back. I, oh, no, we put we it out there. The, we kick it. No, stay when out we there. did the questions <laughs> of what moment did you feel like you got to know the person, it was when Melissa told me, shut up. Melissa couldn't catch them words. She was like, Angel, shut up. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> you told me everything I need to know. I was like, yep. <laughs> I was like, Melissa. <laughs> Y'all are funny blacks. <laughs> All right. Nothing else on them. They were a happy love couple. They look good. Yeah. They, they are just, they separated right now? Uh, distance wise, not, not oh, relationship like, wise. Not Meaning they don't live in the same. That was a that. little unclear no, to yeah, me. I think she, yeah, I think they were. In like she's areas. still in Seattle and he's still yeah, in Portland. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, oh, that's the vibe. I, I didn't getting. know because the Netflix, uh, the actual Netflix account tweeted uh, Tiffany and Brett forever yeah, saying she that. moved. Oh, she did oh, move. She did? Oh, okay, so she moved to Portland. Okay. Oh yeah, she man, was gonna move wherever right that there. black man was. Mm-hmm. She was Portland like, where? Sticks. I can't stand I can, it. Oh, that whole outlet. I mean, I, I hate Seattle more, but Portland, Why are you close. In Seattle more? Every time I've gone, Seattle has been terrible to me. It's not a good time. I have oh. never seen a video or anything of somebody in Portland where I'm like, oh, that looks like it'd be nice to live here. <laughs> it's always like, <laughs> it, it, like it always gives me like bad weather day in March in 1,000%. Kentucky or even California. You yes. know, we, our weather be trash out here. People are great. The city is awful. I was Where? there for almost Florida. a month. Mm-hmm. Last year, yeah. this time, and I was like, "Dear God, don't don't let this happen. Dang. Do not let this pilot make me stay here." <laughs> See, no it's, God, it's not it's not fun time. It's raining time. It is it's a big. Raining, it's a lot man. of homeless. All right. All right. Anything else y'all want to add overall? Uh, I was highly. She did disappointed. say she uprooted her life. You write about it because he oh. said she made a lot of sacrifices. Oh, Tiffany. Yep, he mm. did say that. He yeah. was. I really. Really, really food. like Brett. I really oh, want them to make it. it. Uh-huh. I do too. I think they're a beautiful couple. He seems. He seemed. I. I hope this is not like a Doctor Jekyll, Mister Hyde, and they're like. There's another side to him. It seems like he's been very. It's been a year, so it looks like he's mm-hmm. been consistent. Mm-hmm. And she's so happy and grateful. <laughs> she, they so both happy. seem like they make each other extremely happy. So mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, real quick, let's go to. I forgot Mike and Paul. We got to talk oh, about Jackie them real quick. Oh, Jackie just apologized. Uh, uh, just posted an apology. Finally. She should have. I'll look for it while you talk. Okay. Micah watching? and Paul is the last <laughs> thing I wanted to say. That um, that Paul is a chronic overthinker. Oh, yeah. He's it bad. will end him, like, not in him like that, like, you know, death-wise, but, like, it will paralyze him in making him. progress in life sure. because he just overthinks, 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 I overthinks. I mean, he overthought thought that to the better for him. But <laughs> cause the girl was out. trash. Yeah. But he, yeah, that the way that boy overthinks, I'm like, dude, come yeah, on. Yeah, you got to. I'm an overthinker, but he is a like the extreme overthinker. I don't think him and and Micah were right for each other, mm-hmm. regardless. Mm-hmm. Um, but Micah I Micah got a too much growth to do. She's mm-hmm. the fact that she's that she's still friends with that trash chick that she's friends with yeah. Shelby. Yeah, whoever she is, yes, yes, she yes, said yes. she don't uh, articulate. She, yeah, she don't say things right, but her yeah, her delivery right. is her delivery yeah. is wrong. But I, I know the same way. 
But she was like, she never wants it, you know me to be heartbroken. She said at the wedding that went exactly how I wanted and it to go. And then laughed like she was. Sinister. There was something sinister about yeah, it. Both of y'all are stupid. Y'all deserve each other. Yeah. Let me just say that they are dragging Vanessa Lachey all by her lonesome now on Twitter. Oh yeah. Oh. I, mean, I mean, everybody's drug on Twitter. So, but true. it's and, just and like, that, that oh no, not to build you up. Leave me okay, up. Okay, I'm trying to see that if I can find the apology. Okay. Let me type in apology. Um, is it on her Twitter or her TikTok? Can I go to the bathroom? Go on, because we about done now. We if we can find this, we can. If she can't, then we won't. When did your shoe come off? Hey, I don't see it on the Twitters. Somebody, you know, DM it's us. On her IG. On her IG. Her IG story, so you got her and get to it. What's her name? Jackie what? Ina. No. <laughs> Jacqueline Bonds. Let's see here. It's on her Instagram? Yeah. You said her comments. Oh. No. No, oh, that's like, you. Wait, that's... Mm-hmm. Uh, hate that voice. Okay, here we go. I would like to start off this... Wait a minute. I would like to start oh, it's an this IOS off. Apology. Yes, I would like to start this off by saying I sincerely apologize and take accountability for my actions and words and my relationship between Marshall and I. I also want to take the time to express my gratitude and appreciation for Marshall clearing up that I did, in fact, in the relationship before meeting Josh at the coffee shop. I understand that the, it was a quick transition from one relationship to another, but this relationship did not start as most do in the real world. To some, it may seem as if a It was a quick transition. However, there's only a small percent that can be shown on TV, and my connection with Josh was much deeper than it seems from a viewer's perspective. I also would like to thank Marshall for taking accountability, uh, the derogatory comment that was made off camera. I would also like to apologize and take accountability for the disparaging remarks as well in those leaked messages. It was tasteless and disrespectful to speak about anyone that way. It was never a battle between Marshall and I. I just wanted to clear the timeline of events that took place as it looked as if I was a cheater and starting one relationship before leaving another. I am thankful that Vanessa Lachey allowed me to speak my piece and take accountability for my actions. Girl, all I can do is learn and grow from the experience. Like Marshall said at the reunion, we both deserve happiness, peace, and to be able to move on from what transpired last year. Marshall and I have uh, personally apologized to each other and took accountability for our actions and have moved on. I would also like to apologize and take accountability to the public as it was done on the show for everyone to see. Actions speak louder than words. Jacqueline Barnes. She still ain't apologized. Not in a way. I I feel like she needs to apologize for misleading us to thinking that it was a derogatory term. She can't apologize without saying he's held... Without I, talking about his I accountability. take accountability for this, and I'd like to thank him for also taking accountability for that. I would like to take accountability for this, and also thank him for taking accountability for that. Mm-hmm. That's basically what she said. Y'all found it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm ready. Our iOS press release. It's iOS press release. That's so funny I said that, too. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. This says, uh, no, wait a minute. What's the day? How'd she get that up there? The 18th. 18th. Okay, no, it's something she pinned about the ring. What's her th- Can I read it? Somebody said that's a real half It fire. says, I have seen the latest episodes that have premiered on Love is Blind, and I must speak the truth. Marshall and I were broken up before I saw Josh at the coffee shop. I was wearing different clothes. My hair was styled different. And at the end of the video, I say, I don't know if I'm going to be with Josh. I am not sure what the reason is for playing the coffee shop date before the breakup, but to restate that Marshall and I broke up before Josh and I, our coffee shop date. As for the ring, Marshall did not pay for the ring. Love is Blind paid for all the rings. She said, I'm getting some out of this. Yeah. She's I'm living here with she, she, I'm like saying, uh, uh, then I why didn't she say that? Was like, with all due respect. That don't mean. But wait a minute. <laughs> then, then that's what she, those are the 10 toes she should have stood on when Vanessa said it. She tried to say, well, because we thought he was going to propose to someone yeah. else. No, say, because y'all bought it and, and I cares? want it. And that's it. That's all. Mm. All right. Oh, wow. Well, that's the end of that. Thanks for following us this season. Even though we was late to the game, chat, yeah, but it Nick, was good. Vanessa, quit your jobs. No. Oh, oh she got all her comments off. Yes. Well, I would, too. Ain't no way in the world y'all going to keep. Uh, now, that's called uh, mental instability. You keep mm-hmm. reading all them doggone comments. Yeah. Oh, uh-huh. Uh, thank y'all so much um, for tuning in. Uh, the show, I wrote notes on it. The show Couples Therapy starts on... 
Um, I think it's season three. This was a little bit different, though. Showtime. Show. <laughs> this was a little. <laughs> April 18th. Oh, oh it just started. Today. Okay, well, we'll just be uh, three weeks behind. I mean, we can this always catch up. Week, right? yeah, this is airing. Yeah, I'm going to push a little bit a little earlier. A Although little this changing. Is, people are watching it late because the dog on failed thing, but whatever. Um, all right. Still trying to watch it. Exactly. Thank y'all so much. Bye. Bye.